Hello everyone and welcome to a, a, a back to the explain video. I said I'll do it tomorrow, but I'm gonna do it today. Because I just want to. Uh, so today I'll be doing a level 1 and 2. The other, I'm, I was on level 2 first because I'm, I was doing this, I was already doing another video on the explanation of level 1 and 2. And then the, I forgot that my uh, headphones were on the ground and then the headphones had my mic on them and then yeah, it would sound like nothing. So I deleted the video. Level 1, survival difficulty, class 1, safe, secure, minimal, entity count. Level 1 is the second level of the back rooms. It's basically just a large sprawling warehouse that has uh, concrete floors, walls, exposed rebar. Rebar is like this kind of like metal bar. It holds the ceiling, and then uh, you know, construction workers cover the rebar and the dirt ceiling so it doesn't look ugly, obviously. And a low hanging fog with no you know, source, so it sells. And uh, yeah, the, sometimes the fog uh, can uh, turn to condensation, kind of thing. This forms into puddles on the floor in random areas. Unlike level zero, this this level possesses a, a constant supply of water, electricity, which um, which can be you know pretty cool, you know, because if you want to wander it around, something like that. Level one's also name is called a habitable zone, but it's not really habitable because I'm gonna say this stuff. So yeah. And, um, unlike level zero, as I just said, providing appropriate precautions is taken. It's far more ex expansive, possessing staircases, elevators, and isolated rooms, hallways, and stuff. Yeah. Crates, uh, crates of supplies appear and disappear randomly within the level. So you can just see a crate and then grab some stuff in it. Specifically this stuff, which is in this description, almond water, which is a really important thing. <laughs> Batteries. For whatever reason, the flashlight, something, tarps, weaponry, clothing, medical supplies, and nonsensical objects. Kind of like, you know, some dumb stuff like car ports, box of crayons, use, already used syringes, partially burned paper, live mice, mice in a catanic, catatonic state has been injected with unknown substances, shoelaces, loose change, bundles of human hair, what? Yes, dumb stuff, so yeah. Okay, it should be approached with caution because you know the stuff is inside, especially because of that uh, mice with uh, you know the state has been injected, inject you know the mice that are injected. My theory is that uh, they use syringes in here that uh, were used by some entity and we call it the scientists, and it was um it was in, in the scientist scientist entity injected the mice with the substance that we get in the used syringe, and it's put in the crate. Also put the mice in the crate. Yeah. So yeah, you should approach the crate. With you know, uh, it was really, we should be really careful by approaching the crate, because you don't want that kind of mice to bite you, and you don't want to die, so yeah. You, get, you don't want to get rabies. But they should have, they have, like, some useful stuff, so you can, you know, you should also go near them, as, you should, you should go explore them as well, the crates. So, at the same time, you should, and should explore them. In addition, crude paintings, drawings with no origin, sus. Or just have a meaning appear on the walls and floors. They just uh, change their entire painting or just disappear. So you say you you just look for you look away for like one picosecond, point millisecond, point everything second, yeah, smallest amount of thing, and then it just disappears. Yeah, no, just disappear or just change itself. That's so that's really weird. But uh, my theory is that if you know that on level and it's uh, kind of like level fifty something. 50 something the artist entity painted this kind of trash can thing so i'm pretty sure the art artist entity created this painting at level one so that's my theory so i'm just quote unquote solving the back rooms level the lights in level one are known to flicker and um fail at even fail at and at fail at times and when this occurs supplies just just disappear like the exact second, and many hostile entities, such as like uh, skin stealers, hounds, and the um, some scratchers, I guess. Yeah, so stay in one of the hallways or just a random bright spot, and you'll be safe because uh, apparently the lights in the hallways do not um uh, do not flicker off out of existence. So yeah, sometimes the lights can go off for just a few seconds, minutes. 
even hours, or if you're unlucky enough, if this even is possible, it can even go on for days, weeks, months, years, uh, yeah, if you're that unlucky, so yeah, you should probably find a hallway. So, um, yeah, there, there's many entities. Also, if you carry, it said that if you carry the stuff you took from the crates, it will not they disappear. So, just say you're sleeping and stuff, and then you just put, and you're not holding your items or having them in the bag, they'll just disappear. You're probably going to be starving and thirsty. That one is home to the hub, which is of this. Survival difficulty, zero, safe, they're secure, devoid of any entities. The hub. There's an animatic level of the back rooms, even though it's really not, you know, that dangerous. It's a safe place for a wanderer, you know, look, live in the hub. It is a tunnel with the both locked and unlocked doors on either side. The hub is an infinite, dimly lit underground road tunnel that seems to have no end. The flooring of the tunnel systems is a dry, absalt road with the streets three sections of yellow lines, kind of like level 69, which is, an, I'll explain later, maybe. In, in the video, the walls are lined with large slabs of concrete, which seems in between every time a new slab is presented. Bright yellow industrial lights also line these walls. It illuminates the hub. It has orange kind of hue, you know, light, causing Leah to be wonky in some areas. However, there's a linear path it's fairly to traverse. There's also home to, you know, um, Tom's Diner. Which is uh, kind of like a well, Tom's Diner. Obviously, it's the name. Yeah, it has some it has wanderers and everything. The hub it contains wanderers, some meg bases and everything. Yeah, you know, so you can chill out in the hub because you don't want to get well uh, ripped in half by its skin stealer. So yeah, just chill out here. Since I guess so. Uh, I guess if you just uh, I guess if you enter the hub like while something's chasing you, just instantly die or disappear or something. I don't know. Uh, you guys can read this. I'm not gonna read this. I'm saying whatever. Yeah, it's because there's a lot of crap here, so yeah. All this and everything, yeah. You can also access level 2, 3, and 4, I guess, yeah. So let's just continue with level 1. Tom's Diner, this. This is a um, Meg base. Alpha is the most important base of Meg. And half of Meg lives here. And they just, um,. House explorers and supplies outputs for the BNG, BNTG backroom international trade group. But, you know, has this backroom trading stuff, you know, in the entirety of the backrooms. That's literally the name. This is close to one of the entrances of level one, so we might just instantly find the MIG. You know, yeah, it's literally heavy, heavily guarded with a lot of people and weapons. Again, threats as entity, so they can just basically they can just bop an entire army of hounds. Like a few shots, I guess. BNTG trade is great to keep. Tudor's Keep is a large public city complex. Around 412 ha inhabitants, non hostile. You can trade with them, and they have so such a little infrastructure. Trader's Wall is step set up in Storage Hall Level 1, 2. Keep communications and friendly relations with the MIG, so you know, they have their friends and stuff. And they, you know, explore the back and stuff. That's really what they do, I guess. Tom's Diner is run by Tom. Yeah, I just said that. And before no clip into the back rooms, you know, before tripping on a spatula and and just and just uh falling through every atom and particle of the entire known universe. Yeah. There's plenty of food and storage it's supplied by the BNTG every few months. Tom is a uh, you know is an amiable and optimistic person. He he is a dinosaur is a small social hub, so you can just meet up with us and people. But let's just say you have a miss this but what if you Let's say you have this missing friend who's been gone for a few years, and then you clip into the back rooms, and then you find him in the hub, Tom Stein or something, yeah, and hang out with each other, I guess. You can get here from level zero by just no clipping, just just throw yourself at a wall, or you can read one of those papers from Meg, you know, in the middle room, Manila room, in the other episode, it has other entrances, so you can just, sometimes you can open a door, level level one, and it'll take you to level one, you just throw just some doors, you know, everyone in the back rooms. Additionally, climbing one of the trees in level 11.1, the end of the fifth event in level 92, completing the King's Trial in level 94, or a more reliable, 
reliable way to return to level 1. To leave level 1 by simply continuing to explore the back rooms, wanderers down any extended hallway often leads to level 2. Finding holes in the wall will lead to level 19. If you look through the ceiling, or the paint, you know, with the hall and the paintings on it, you'll be at level fun. And it's not fun. You'll be at a party. And the, it's, yeah, it's not fun. Level fun is not fun. That's what I'm saying for you. Let's try level fun. Level fun is our party goers. They'll try to turn you to a cupcake or a cake. If they, if you touch them or they touch you, then you're gonna turn to a party goer. So don't, and don't even try. So. Yeah. Um, uh, Susan, this doesn't exist. Yeah, 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 Susan, you, you don't see anything, Susan. Yeah. Next level, I guess. Level 2. Level 2. Survival so to class 2. Unsafe, unsafe, low on city count. It's the third level of the back rooms. And it's one of the last levels you can start in when you look up in reality, but... If you do end up in level 2, you usually have the worst luck in existence. Like, bro, you're like, you're very unlucky. You can also end up in level 1000, but it's really rare. Like, really rare. Description. Level 2 consists of mainly dark gray, clumpy maintenance tunnels. It has a pipe on the wall that just runs infinitely in millions of miles. The walls have, you know, just pipes and ventilation ducts with have a thick, vicious black liquid. So, so... Uh, if you, uh, so don't drink black liquor from Benz, or you're sussy, yeah, you can't, that's, yeah, you're, you're weirdo, or plus you're not, probably. The words can sometimes be found, but most are locked, or they just lead into a wall, or nothing, so yeah. These rooms typically have house shelves of random experimental objects, occasionally computers, so, uh, I don't know what you're gonna use it for, unless you have Wi-Fi, so yeah, cool. A certain parts of hallways in level 2, the heat can become unbearable, reaching 43 degrees Celsius or 110 Fahrenheit, or even higher. In these areas where the machinery is loud, kind of like levels here, like, yeah, something like that. So, probably the end of hallways, which is like, if you come, if you go a few miles in, you'll probably hear the machine kind of sussy noise, yeah. Entities are like one of the most dangerous. Noise can be heard from the vents, which are from crawlers, from like spider things. You can also find Mark employee in the back rooms, level two. The bathrooms. I don't know who Mark is. Not with description of him, but I don't really know. Yeah. Other beings here include smiles, facelings, clowns, hounds, male death moths, wretches, play goblins, worsters, and skin skewers. Like the worst ones ever. Yeah. The only thing you need to know. And can nose to run away anyone we see one. Just, just go out. Yeah, just get out. Entity shown in the picture above has not been identified, and the fate of the original photograph is unknown. He's probably dead. So, yeah. The base is out the communities and survivors. A uh, group of about 29 people who just explored this level. Not cool, really. They were in Austin. They're friendly and open to trading, so I'll trade with you. And they're, they have supplies, they just hold their supplies in crates from level 1, so you just take some crates and just take it level 2. They were the first to discover, like, what riches were, so thanks, I guess. So this group have often complex with the followers of Jerry, I guess they abuse Jerry, so I think Jerry's uh, kind of like Blue Parrot. Bird thing, yeah. If you touch it, you're gonna be like, Jerry, our lord, I'll do anything for you. Yeah, so just don't touch Jerry, he's from level 2, sometimes. Office space EL three A. Office space EL three A is an office space, obviously, and that will see home to thirty members of the BNCG. From info see office space three A EL three A. No. Entrance and exit. Now we'll do is the only level in the back that give you direct access from re no reality. And if you do, then you're like really lucky. You're like one of the most lucky person in the world. You're like just terrible. You can come across level 2 by exploring for long enough from level 1, you'll also be sent there. You'll also be accessed from the hub, maybe one, maybe no clipping, or just entering a door. Yeah. Contrary to popular belief, not all the doors in level 2 are locked, only to dead ends, Secondly, to level 3, 4, and occasionally back to level 1, which is good. I'd rather be in level 1 than level 2. Finding an, a comically Pushing a multicolored door, it'll lead to level 283. 
if you know potentially a hot area in level 2, you can wind up in level 2.1. I would not want to go there, uh, because I'm, uh, I already know the uh, description of the level. So, um, yeah, don't even try. You can look on the wiki that yourself. So, that'll be it. That'll be conclusion for, um, you know, my level 1 and 2 explanation. Hope you enjoyed. I'll do level 3 and 4 maybe tomorrow, I guess. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.